Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, uh, yesterday, there's a newspaper here, uh, I guess somewhat locally in both Kansas and Missouri. It's called The Sentinel. And they uh, did an article on my lawsuit against City of Lawrence. <clears throat> and I just wanted to mention something in that article here in this video. I'll leave the, the link to the article in the description section here so you can check it out. So it's a good article. <clears throat> it's a good article because it's, uh, it's neutral. You know, it's just neutral. And uh, <clears throat> anyways, in that article, my attorney has a statement in there. And so my attorney, his name is Linus Baker. And uh, he has a statement in there talking about how this lawsuit uh, against... Um, let me give you a little bit of context here uh, with, the, with the lawsuit. So I filed one lawsuit against uh, the City of Lawrence City Commission and also the Lawrence Public Library. And the reason why it's under one instead of two separate ones is um, because, I guess in simple terms, and I think this is right, um, is that if you have a, a complaint against a single or any complaint against a single entity has to be filed in, in one uh, complaint so because the city and the city library are both uh, technically the city then um, I file one lawsuit but make claims against the city commission and also the public library and so that's what that is so anyways so he's talking about my attorney again Linus Baker in, in this story he uh he's got a statement and he's talking about you know why this lawsuit is important and he says you know, it's important for all citizens of Kansas who will want to exercise their fundamental right of freedom of speech to go with their you know, city, county, and school districts and criticize the government or say anything that they want as free citizens with free speech. And, uh, you know, I think that that's really cool. You know, I think that that's cool that my lawsuit um, is important on, on that level for, for all of Kansas. And, and, I, and I recognize that and the reason is, I mean, it's important for everybody. And, and the reason is, is because I've been saying this all along since I've been, you know, being mistreated at these meetings. This is what I've been saying all along is that I should have had a lot more support from the community because um, I, it just happened to be me right now that has an unpopular opinion. And uh, so I'm, I'm treated that way. But because I'm treated that way, it could be you in the future, no matter what your political leaning is, ideology, any of that stuff. Someday the tables might turn and for whatever reason, your opinion now is viewed as uh, not worth being <laughs> allowed to be expressed and you suffer consequences for it. Everybody should have been. You know, I was I was running for Douglas County Commissioner as a Republican um, at the time that the city commission was looking to adopt the the language that's in their policy now of germaneness, and this germaneness issue, um, you know, is is really getting them kind of twisted in knots at the city because uh, you can't enforce something like that. You know, by their own admission, this is a very subjective term and it can be applied any way that the current commission sees fit and so the reason again going back to why this is important for every citizen is you know if you got you know more and more of these boards across the state of kansas are adopting this language of G germane and basically you know germane just means you know related to city business but they they use that word 
And most people probably don't even know what it means. They probably never even heard of that word before. Um, <clears throat> but I knew when they first were looking to adopt it that uh, it, it wasn't going to be good for citizens. Um, because, like I said, whoever is wielding the power in office can say, uh, I don't want to hear this because this isn't germane to the business. And they're the judge jury and executioner on that like you don't even get a chance to be like well hold on a second no the reason why it is germane is because it you know you had this or that you don't even get to do that in my case i just got pff, escorted right out of there uh in in july of 2023 and then fast forward to november you got the there's a group of pro-palestine speakers there and they start speaking and uh the same mayor interrupts them and says uh, this isn't germane to the business of the city. And uh, they, the speaker basically says, well, no, it is. Um, and, you know, here's why, but also I'm going to bully you into allowing this. Whereas in July, I try to say, well, hold on a second. I'm talking about masks and masks were a policy that you guys had in place during COVID. And nope, she wasn't hearing it and had me escorted the, out of there by police. Damn near got arrested for it it's unbelievable and so that's what that that germaneness thing does it, it allows them to kind of uh pick and choose and, and flex uh <clears throat> on anything that they want if they don't like it and so you know my turn is right this is a this is an important thing for all kansas and but so i had been saying you know when when the commission was wanting to do the uh Germain add the germane word to their policy back in the summer of 2022 i was running for county commissioner and so i was telling everybody i could i go to republican party meetings and uh try to rally the troops and be like yo this is what's going on down there guys they're going to change this word uh this germaneness and it's going to be you know it's going to be shutting us down it's going to shut down you know you know whoever they don't like and uh so, did anybody respond? No, nobody gave a shit. And, you know, it, it, equally, I, you know, Democrats should have been interested in, in, in that as well. But, you know, the city of Lawrence, they, they don't like me for the most part. And so a lot of them were probably happy and glad that I was getting uh, censored and tossed from these meetings. They're probably glad about it, but failing to think that someday again for whatever reason some unknown reason they now have an idea or a thought or an opinion that is unpopular and they want to express it to their government and they can't then it's a big fucking deal you know then it'll be more important so it should have been both republicans democrats you know liberals conservatives should have been paying attention a lot more to this i was trying to sound the alarm as much as i could at the time i uh, couldn't get any republicans off their ass around there to uh to do anything to even show up but you know that's that's typical of republicans you know they're just uh you know stand pat republicans they just you know just stand and pat always just stand and pat we're uh you know we're online uh you know following whatever youtubers and facebook stuff and, and getting in the comment section we're, we'll do that but when the rubber hits the road and there's actual fucking tyranny in our back door at our you know in our backyard they're nowhere to be found and would always have maybe an excuse that you know they it can't be cited with seen with me or support me or anything like that well this what again this was no this isn't about me it's about like my lawyer said this is about everybody's rights in kansas if it happened to me it'll happen to anybody it really will and i say that because i didn't expect any of this shit you know prior to covid i i never ever would have thought that i would be at city meetings and county meetings and shit like that and uh never ever thought that i would be the one that is expressing some kind of unpopular opinion that people didn't like and, and fucking wanted to shut me down didn't want to hear it never thought that would be me and uh here we are so i hope people wake up to this shit i hope people get more uh, involved with shit locally i think that's our only chance um i, I hope that uh people get off on online you know as, as i'm making a video for youtube here but um i hope they get off on the you know off of being online all the time 
and balance it out with doing some action of showing up at your city county uh, school district meetings um, because like I said you know that's you know <clears throat> so the rubber hits the road it's right there people looking for something to do to, to make a change it's right there one other thing that I want to add on this germaneness thing that we are starting to see it kind of blow up in the face of you know liberals there in Lawrence you know at the meeting last night the city commission meeting last night there is a uh, a pro Palestine, pro ceasefire uh, commenter that went after me, talked after me, and said something uh, about the germaneness thing. Like, how, how could this not be germane? How, how could their desire for a ceasefire not be germane? And, you know, <clears throat> none of that, I'm not weighing in on any of that. None of that really matters to me in this situation. What, what I'm saying is now you got people on both sides going, well, hold on. What do you mean by germane? And so it goes back to my point of, you know, both sides, as I was getting thrown out of those meetings, instead of laughing at me like liberals did and Republicans shaking their head at me in embarrassment, they should have all been like, yo, that ain't right. Uh, we should have been a lot more fired up. Uh, we weren't, but that's the way it is. It's in the past. Hopefully going forward, though, people start fucking waking up to... Uh, what's going on right around them and realizing that this shit could happen to them. Something could come down the pike that they never expect and they're like, hold on, I want to go speak and I want to put an end to this and it might not be popular. And then next thing you know, they can't fucking say it. I'm a fucking American. I'm a fucking American. I'm a fucking U.S. submarine service veteran. Did nine years in the Navy. Spent a lot of fucking time living under the ocean to defend the rights of those motherfuckers that sit up there and take my fucking rights from me. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that. Fucking Americans. Those motherfuckers that sat up there and took my rights from me ain't done a fucking thing for this country. And they think they can fucking do that to me? No, it's fucking bullshit. And we all should be fucking upset <clears throat> just for, the, for nothing else than to think that you know, it could happen to you personally, and that should be upsetting. This is fucking America, man. This is America. This ain't no fucking communist shit. We can say what we want. Fuck all those commie fucks, man. But I appreciate you checking out my video. Talk to you later.